In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a sharp tools rule that will allow you to play music on an Alexa group with just a tap or part of an automation coming up next. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. And in this video, what we're going to do is basically take advantage of our speaker groups here, and we're going to take advantage of our Echo Speaks integration and our Sharp Tools rules engine. So you're definitely going to have to have Echo Speaks installed. And I have all of the videos in links in the video description of this video. So if you haven't got Echo Speaks installed, I'll leave a card at the top of the screen. Definitely get that installed first. And if you haven't signed up for a Sharp Tools account, just head over to sharptools.io and sign up for a free account. That is all you need to get this done. It's really fast and easy to sign up. And I have a video on basically showing you how to get everything working. And I have that in the video description as well. And I'll also leave that in a card at the top of the screen now. So the first thing you need to do to get this working is go into your Alexa app. And what you want to do is go to the devices tab at the bottom of the app. And then in your upper right hand corner, you want to click on the plus. When you click on the plus, you're going to get these options to either add a device, add a group, set up multi-room music, or set up audio system. What you would want to do is choose set up multi-room music. And it's going to tell you a little bit about what multi-room music is and what it does. Hit continue. And then what you're going to do is choose a name. You can either choose a name that they've already chosen for you or you can choose your own name, say test, click next. And then all you would do is just choose the devices that you want to add to the group. You just check off the ones that you want to add. And then at the very bottom, just hit save. Now I'm not going to actually create this group because I already have groups set up. So if you already have groups set up, you don't have to do any of this. All you need to do is go to your devices tab at the bottom and scroll down and you will see that you have some speaker groups. So I have currently set up downstairs. So that would be all of the devices downstairs. I have everywhere, which is all of the devices downstairs and upstairs. I have upstairs, which is obviously upstairs. And I have downstairs common. So what downstairs common is, is it will play downstairs only in the common areas so it won't play in any of the rooms or bedrooms or bathrooms or anything like that so those are my groups so you have to have one of these groups set up so i'm going to use downstairs common so if we go into that group it'll tell you what echo devices are in that group so you can see that i have echo foyer family room and kitchen checked off and I'm pretty sure that's all that's in that group those three devices are in that group and when I play on this group it'll play the music out of these three devices at the same time it's important to know what echo devices are in your groups because we're going to need to know that later I'm going to go ahead and just go back out of this we didn't change anything so there's nothing to save so once we have that set up we have our group set up. We're pretty much done in the Alexa app. So what you'd want to do is come over to your Sharp Tools and just log in and go to your Rules Engine. And once on your Rules Engine, what you need to do is go to the very bottom, click Create Rule. So we're going to just call this Multi room audio i'm going to say play on downstairs 
common group. So the trigger, I'm just going to use event trigger. And I'm going to choose a device. So I have a Sharp Tools Run virtual device setup. And that's an easy way to just test your rules if you set up a rule and want to test it. So when you choose that switch to turn it on, and it will trigger our rule. So we've done the event trigger, just hit save. And now we need to go down to the flow section. On the flow section, um, we're just going to have an action. Um, you could do an if statement if you wanted to, or add a delay, or anything like that. We're just going to go do an action, and we're going to choose a device. So what you need to do is choose one of those devices that was in our group. For downstairs common, so echo foyer. Find our echo foyer in our list here. Is and you're going to choose just to search Amazon Music. And you can do search any of these other ones. You have um, Amazon Music, Apple Music, iHeartRadio, um, Music in general, I guess, Pandora, SiriusXM, Spotify, and TuneIn. So whatever um, you use for your music, you can use any of these. The process is the same. So I'm an Amazon Prime member, so I'm going to use my Amazon Music. And you can see that we have two numbers and a string. So um, we can delete these numbers. We don't need these. So we're going to go ahead and toggle the advanced options on at the top right here. And now you can see we have some options on the side. So if we hit the negative button, we'll just remove those. And now we're left with our string. And let's just say popular music. So that's what we're going to search for. And then just type on downstairs common. You just have to type in the group that you want to play this on. All right, so we um, chose one of our devices that is in the downstairs common group. And then we chose it to search Amazon Music. And we're going to search for popular music. And it's going to play, going to search for it, find it, and play it on the downstairs common group. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and hit save here and save at the bottom. Also, say if you um, forgot to save this, if you hit save here, it's going to say still working on editing. So it's not going to let you um, leave something undone. So just go ahead and find the item that's circled or outlined in red. Click update. So now we're just going to go ahead and save this. All right, so now we can test it out. Go to the My Home tab, and I have Sharp Tools Run at the top. So remember, the Sharp Tools Run is what we're using to trigger this multi-room audio test. And you probably can't hear that, but I do hear that playing downstairs. And you can see on our Alexa app at the very bottom, it tells you what's playing and it tells you that it's on the downstairs common group. And we can tap on the volume and move these down a little bit, change each one all at the same time. So that is how you do it. So basically, all we had to do is set up that rule. And it's playing on all three of those devices. Um, and all we had to do is toggle on and off a virtual device. Now, that's just an example. But what you could do is you could have it be when you come home, it plays your favorite music when you open the door to walk into the house. Um, you could have it. Um, play music in the morning to wake you up. So maybe you start it in your bedroom and it plays in the kitchen Plays in your bathroom So you can hear it wherever you go downstairs in the morning to get you woken up and ready for work Or maybe even you have it 
um, turn on some relaxing music when you leave the house so your dogs can listen to some relaxing music while you're gone. I mean, there's so many different things you can do. I know that in our house, we don't really use the audio groups as much as we should. Um, so this is a great way to really automate that and really take advantage of all of the features your Echoes can do. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I will see you in the next video.